Hey guys, welcome back. So if you drive a classic car in Canada, uh, this next video will probably be of interest for you. Uh, it appears that our government, all their wisdom, has decided to add ethanol to all our fuels on the market today, uh, including our Shell V-Power, which I've used for many years. It's the only one left in Saskatchewan that's ethanol free. Uh, and I know that driving a classic car, I have had issues any time I've had to add ethanol to that car. Uh, it just creates problems. And the problem is there's lots of water in ethanol. Uh, they've done this to combat uh, carbon emissions in fossil fuels. So unfortunately, uh, it was uh, July 1st they announced this, that this was coming. So uh, I decided to do some research and grab something that would help me you know, combat this uh, ethanol issue so I can still continue to drive my classic car without any issues. Uh, so when you Google that, uh, the product that comes up the most is uh, uh, this product right here, Stable Brand, brand name product. Uh, this is called uh, 360 Marine. And one of these bottles is $13 here in Saskatchewan. I bought several of them. Uh, it says it here that it treats up to 80 gallons or 303 liters of gasoline. So it's one ounce per 10 gallons of fuel this is supposed to treat. Uh, now after I purchased this, I thought I might want to get this tested to see if it actually performs as advertised. Being in the uh, automotive trade for several years, I've kind of learned not to trust all uh, chemicals you know you can't see what's in the bottle you don't know what you're buying and it's good to if you can have things like this tested to see if they actually perform as advertised uh, there's some good chemicals out there and there's a ton of bad ones that do absolutely nothing and they're basically a you know a colored up bottle full of water snake oil that sort of thing they do absolutely zero for us so there's a simple little test we can do here I'm going to show you uh, how to perform this test. You can do this at home yourself. There's no sleight of hand here. Uh, basically, what I've got is two test tubes. Uh, the, they're going to both represent the fuel tanks in our cars. Uh, they've got equal amounts of fuel in them. The fuel that's in these is actually Shell V-Power. Uh, I just happen to have some of that laying around, you know, uh, for my lawnmower. So that's what I had on hand. So that's the only reason that's V-Power in these test tubes. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of water to each of these tubes. And then we've got two products here that we're going to test to see if they actually uh, now the thing with ethanol treatment is it doesn't actually remove the water in ethanol it just puts it in suspension we're going to see which which of those work uh which of them will put that water in suspension and do its job so it can be burned effectively so i've got a little eyedropper here and i've got a jar of water i'm just going to add uh, a few drops of water into each of these vials one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six drops of water in each one of those vials, uh, both representing our fuel tanks in our cars. And that's going to sound kind of excessive. This is a full tank of gas, and that's six drops. That could be four or five percent of, of water in there. Now it's hard to know. I don't know exactly how much water you're going to get in a tank of gas of ethanol. But uh, this stuff will separate out. And you'll see it in the bottom here. The water will float to the bottom and separate out of the fuel we'll give that a second you can just see the the little light water at the bottom of that vial and we'll do the same over here we'll shake it up a little bit there you can see just a little bit of water in the bottom of that vial that's only six drops of water and your tank of gasoline and we've got a couple of products here so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this Sable brand so it says on here on the front and the back that one ounce treats up to uh, 10 gallons of gasoline so we're gonna give it a healthy dose uh, now this obviously isn't 10 gallons but we're gonna give it half an ounce of this product and see what it does
excuse my crude test tube holder it's uh the budget didn't allow for a high dollar one so there we go we've got we've given that a fairly substantial dose of this product and we're going to shake that up and let it sit now this product is blue in color and it's going to be really easy to see if it's actually doing anything and you can see the water at the bottom of that vial has not put it in suspension at all I found that quite surprising however I have another product here now this is uh, a product that we use at our shop it's called BG chemicals and they call it a fuel system dryer now the difference here is uh, this is uh, 12 fluid ounces and they recommend that a full bottle of this goes in a tank of fuel and I think one of these bottles is around $40 so it's not nearly as cost-effective as the stable brown stuff uh, and it doesn't go nearly as far but we'll see the difference here when I add this to this product or add this product to this vial here oh okay so we've got oh, roughly the same amount of stuff in there it's going to be harder to see. I hope you guys can pick this up in the camera. But you should be able to see that that water is now in suspension in that particular vial. And that one has done nothing. So there's a big difference there. You have to be really careful of products. Uh, these chemicals, these chemical fixes, I've never been a big believer. Like I say, there's lots of good products out, the, out there that actually do uh, perform as advertised and some do not. Uh, now this does nothing for, for ethanol. Very clearly does not put the water in suspension. Uh, whereas this product seems to work. However, it's a lot more expensive, not nearly as cost effective. Uh, it, it's BG Chemicals, it's called Fuel System Dryer. Unfortunately, this is not something you can buy off the auto parts shelf. This is sold only to, you know, automotive shops, dealerships, and that sort of thing, and they use this in their customers' cars. However, this stuff is plentiful, and I've been a, you know, I'm not to, trying to give Stable a brand name, a bad name here. Uh, Stable, I've actually used their product for probably 30 years. Uh, uh, at least the storage, uh, the storage stabilizer in my lawnmower, my classic car, and I assume all this stuff works. Of course, we like I say, we can't see what's inside that bottle. Uh, but in this case, you guys can perform this test yourself. Uh, if you do come across another alternative, there's lots of different products out there. If you come across another ethanol uh, treatment that actually works, you've done the test and. And it does separate, you know, or, or not, you know, put, puts the water in suspension like it's supposed to. This guy actually does work. So that's the difference there, guys. Uh, it's something to be aware of. Uh, we're going to have to find some form of, you know, fix for all this ethanol in our fuels for our classic cars. Uh, I, I can tell you honestly that it, this is not the one, this one's not going to work. Uh, but if you do your own tests at home and you come across a, a good product that actually works, that's, uh, you know, cost effective, uh, let me know in the comments section. It would be good hair from you. Anyway, there you go, guys. I'll give you, I'll give you another look here. Very easy to see in the blue one. It does nothing. Whereas this guy appears... It has uh, it has done the job, but it's not cheap. One of the forty dollars per tank. I guess you know there's got to be more stuff out there. Just keep me posted. Perform this own test for yourself. See what you think. And certainly, like I say, if you come across something that that does the same thing, if it does perform as advertised, and you know it's as cheap or cheaper than what we've got here, it would be good to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopes that helps you. Thanks. Bye bye.